Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You join me on a, well, at the moment, it's quite sunny. Lots of clouds in the area, but we're going to make the most of it while the sun's out. Uh, it's very, very early, so I haven't quite finished my coffee yet. But we're going to head down towards my favorite park bench, because I'm going to go for a little walk this morning. And then we're going to figure out what the rest of the plan is. So, thank you very much for choosing to come along on this bright early morning adventure. And let's see what we can't maybe get up to today. So I'm going to do my best to track down a picture that shows this rope swing a couple months ago because the water was nowhere near this level. Actually as you can tell, you can't even walk down the beach anymore because it's all underwater. Actually, so here's the park bench, there's the water. That used to be significantly further away. Uh, oh. Hold on a second, we got a family of geese. Where did, where's the zoom? There's the zoom. Big family of geese over there. And as you can tell, they've got the swimming area all marked off, so that boaters don't run into any swimmers. And we have a beautiful day. Absolutely glorious. Lots of insects right down here by the water though. And as you can tell, everything is very, very green. Alright. <laughs> the, they're mosquitoes. And they're everywhere. There's a lot of them, so we're just going to wander this way. They seem to be less over by this tree. <laughs> but, so for today, I had been planning on heading up north towards Salmon Arm Kamloops area. Uh, that, that's not happening, unfortunately. Uh, too many things have just kind of piled up that I have to deal with right away, so I just don't have the time, unfortunately. Now, that, that leads me into my next point, which is actually why I'm at my favorite park bench at quarter to six in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm working a full-time job, and I absolutely love it. The problem is, it doesn't pay enough to actually pay my bills. So I've had to take on a second job, which then means I have no time whatsoever for myself. And I'm, I'm not enjoying it. Not even a little bit. So I think I need to seriously consider moving to a single position that pays substantially more. Which means getting back into the automotive industry. It's something I didn't really want to do, but it is what I know best. So yeah, lots to think about. And this is the place to come and think about it little bit away from, well, <laughs> civilization, but not really. We're just away from the crowds. No wind today, it's not raining yet, and yeah, the rain has made a huge impact. Obviously the level of the lakes, but everything is green. Absolutely everywhere you look is green and growing and it just smells so nice out here. <laughs> oh, we got our family of geese swimming by. Oh, 
The lens isn't very happy today. Might have to replace that soon. Yeah, we got some early morning fishermen out there. I can see at least three, four boats. I'm sure that'll get pretty hectic before the end of the day. So, but yeah. Speaking of the rest of the day, uh, I have to go to work, <laughs> which I, I've made myself a much longer commute this morning by heading the opposite direction to come just gather my thoughts. So I'm going to have to do that here shortly. And then after work, I have no idea because that's, I wasn't really planning on having to work today. So we'll come up with something. There is a car show happening downtown. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to that because I think it ends at three and I work until two. But yeah, anyways, we'll put that on the list of maybes. Uh, if not, we'll just enjoy a nice little cruise on the way home, or not home, but back to work, and we'll see what we can come up with. Because I do, yeah, we're gonna take the long scenic route to work today. Hopefully that makes for some enjoyable footage. So buckle up and let's enjoy the ride. I love the scenic roads around here. <laughs> they might take you a few minutes longer to get to where you're going, but in my opinion, the view and the nice twisty roads, so worth it. Uh, now, we are just kind of off the highway here in Lake Country, where I just have to jump on the highway and head to work now. But, loud trucks going by. I figured this might be a good spot to take some pictures to update my ad for selling the car. Although it does appear to need a good wash. Uh, the interior needs to be cleaned before I get any more new pictures of that. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm just borrowing some of General Motors pictures of the interiors for my ad. <laughs> but uh, I've had quite a few phone calls about it already, which is promising. So uh, that's kind of what I've got for today. I thoroughly enjoyed that little cruise through the scenic mountain roads, and now I have to go to work. Hopefully you enjoy this sort of content. 
if you do, please subscribe. Leaving likes on the video, commenting, excellent ways to kind of build the community. And I still want to know what you guys would replace this car with as an in-between. Because I have my sights set on going electric in the next few years, but they're not available right now. So best way to kind of prepare for that is to reduce my overall costs. So again, what would you replace it with? Something to get to and from work? Maybe the occasional little bit of a road trip? And it definitely has to be able to handle winter. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for coming along today, and we will catch you on the next adventure.